it is one of the gloomiest days of the year um, I have my ring light on as otherwise you won't be seeing much um, but I thought today we could have a nice cozy day in and go through um, my full bucket list together I thought to start what we can do is have a little montage thing of me going through having a little look what I'd like to do for my for my autumn period of what things I want to do with Taylor, what I want to do alone, etc. But what I'll do is I'm gonna have a little look, have a little mooch on Pinterest, you know, our favourite place to go for ideas. Um, and then we will recuperate, we will come back and we can talk through some of the bits um, that I just want to do. And maybe I'll just edit in some photos as well so you can see the kind of um, vibe I'm going to go for, etc. <laughs> even some space but here ready so you can see all the lovely bits that I have planned I have got my hot chocolate to get cozy with my water as usual and a nice I, I will be honest Christmas candle burning um, but we are ready to go through all the lovely bits that I would like to do this autumn and if it's not possible next year it's fine the first thing that i would like to do this year um is make more cozy autumnal soups so last year i made curried pumpkin soup which oh, is the best it's a faff but it's the best soup ever it's one of my favorites um and it's just something that i'd like to dig my teeth into a bit more this year and maybe create a couple of batches rather than just the one um, I also found another one which looked absolutely beautiful, it had brie in it. So brie and cheddar apple beer soup. I'll pop photos here. So the top one is going to be a pumpkin soup and then somewhere by here is going to be the brie and cheddar apple beer soup, which is something that I could get into. I love a bit of cheese. So that's something I'd like to do more of this year. I'd like to cozy on down have a nice little relaxing cooking sesh make some beautiful soups and just be able to have a cozy little evening in basically so the next one i'm going to merge with another one so i have around 20 things i'd like to do um so i'd like to go on more autumnal walks and take more photos with the leaves and nature i feel like i haven't spent that much time outside this year um, as it is not it hasn't been the best summer that we've had so so i thought hopefully autumn will be a bit more seasonal you know more brighter more crunchy leaves etc so i thought that'd be a nice um, little task you know pull taylor out of the house the next one is um autumnal crafts so in the range near me they oh, they have the best autumn crafts going um there's crocheting kits there's um clay painting kits there's make your own 
pumpkin cushions etc i just thought it was something nice if you have an evening just by yourself you can sit down you can sit in bed watching one of your favorite films and you can just crack on with doing something lovely um so i have some of them to do with my cousin so the next one is something that i saw on instagram actually it was a reel um and i thought it was the cutest thing i've ever laid eyes on so it's gonna be making some autumnal pizzas and i think they are the cutest things ever you can create them to be cute to be a bit spooky and scary and you could just do anything you want with them so i thought it'd be nice for me and taylor to have a nice night in um just faffing about in the kitchen and making some really nice pizzas where we can both enjoy and yeah i just thought it was pretty cute like making our own maybe pizza base probably end up buying our own pizza base we're making our own pizza base deciding whether it's gonna look like a pumpkin or whether you're gonna have spiders or whether you're gonna have ghouls or ghosts or i just thought it was really lovely so that is something that is definitely on my to-do list this year so the next one is i missed out autumn date night but they kind of interlinked together so me and him can have a pizza night in um and just cozy up and watch some of our favorite films the next one is going to be making some autumnal treats so stuff that i already love doing such as my um pumpkin spice muffins um and then i've also got something written down which is a vanilla chai latte cupcake mixture which i really want to try if you're not a cinnamon kind of guy or gal then i wouldn't bother <laughs> because they are very cinnamony very very warming foods but if you're not up to that if you're not into that that's fine i'll see if i can make something a little less cinnamony they are something that i'd like to give a go i also make um there's a swedish spice biscuit that i make around christmas time which are typically christmas um recipes but they are very nice to have around autumn as well since they are quite again spice cinnamon all that beautifulness so highly recommend them as well the next two are statements if you're going to do anything on this autumn bucket list i highly suggest you book and get ready for some pumpkin picking last year taylor and i went to a twilight pumpkin picking um uh, so we got there around seven ish i think um and i don't think you had a time frame but you could just spend the day there or the evening there and they had fields upon fields full of pumpkins and it was amazing it got dark and all these twinkly lights came on and you can go to a little shed after which had like pumpkin spice lattes i'm getting goosebumps just thinking about it but I have booked that, so we do have a video of some pumpkin picking and carving coming. Um, but I'm very, 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 very excited um, to do some pumpkin picking. Um, last year, we I think we came home with something like 30 odd pounds worth of pumpkins and we did nothing to them. So this year, we're also going to have a sit down and we're going to carve our pumpkins as well. So we've got to start thinking about what our carving is going to look like so the next part it can probably be um incorporated into the um date night in uh, which is building a little maybe a den or something cozy and comfy in the living room having your pizzas some snacks some hot chocolate some whatever you want and watching harry potter I've only watched them once and it was only this year um, that Taylor and I watched them. Taylor's watched them before but I've never been interested and it's all I can think about. And I'm dying to watch it again. Behind you is actually the second book I'm trying to get through of Harry Potter. Um, but I love it. It's been amazing. and I'm, t Taylor opens my eyes to these things and I don't even think about them but... I thought that'd be quite nice having your little cozy at home den having some sweet treats and just watching harry potter or if you're not intrigued in that any of your favorite cozy comfy films one of my favorites is Coraline. if you want something a bit spooky but not too scary but taylor doesn't like Coraline overly so 
you can watch stuff like that at night before Christmas. But I thought that was something quite nice that him and I can do together. The next thing, uh, I told Taylor that I wanted to do this and I, he's, he's ready to do it now. But it is trying to taste all of the seasonal coffees that are around. So in Starbucks and in Costa, um, having like a little taster of all of them, rating them, seeing what our favourite is from best to worst etc so that is something that is most definitely coming because if it wasn't taylor will kill me because that's something he's actually looking forward to so we will be doing that as well and you will be seeing that the next one i have is i know this correlates to um baking and making some autumnal treats uh, but this is something that i had to put separately because it is something that i really want to do which is baking a pumpkin pie whether they are going to be little miniature ones or one big one. It's something that I want to do. It's something that I want to try. You're seeing all these American films having all these amazing treats. And I haven't tried it yet. And it's something I love. I love pumpkin. I love pumpkin spice. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need to do it. And I will be doing it this autumn definitely so the next one um this probably isn't going to be me taylor uh, but it's having a scary movie marathon taylor's not a massive fan of scary movies um he thinks they're predictable which is fine um so it's probably going to be me and my friend we're going to have a little cozy night in and watch a bunch of scary movies or if none of your friends like scary creepy movies you can sit down and you can watch um on disney plus they've got the halloween towns i think it's one and two um and they've also got twitches one and two as well and they were some of my favorite films growing up so maybe i'll convince taylor to watch them with me but they are also some very nice halloweeny not creepy they have that element to them so I highly recommend you having a little peek of that also. <laughs> oh, the next part I would really like to do, you could do this um, as a couple, you could do it with your friends, you could do it um, as double dating, you could do it however you want. But I really like the thought of having um, some picky bits and doing a nice little game night. So you know, Uno, Monopoly, stuff like that. Something that you could really dig your teeth into and you could just get lost in. Um, I think that would be really lovely. Um, especially if it's like raining outside and it's all cosy and cutchy in your house. I really like that. So it is something I want to do. Whether we can do it is another thing, but we shall soon see. So the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to go trick or treat in. Obviously not me. But I'd like to take my cousin trick or treating. It's a good atmosphere on Halloween night. It's lovely to see all the kids going out and enjoying the fact that they're dressing up and going to get sweets, obviously. Um, but it's a nice atmosphere. I really like it. I love taking um, my cousin trick or treating as well. Um, I don't know. It's just lovely. And I really love it. And I can't wait to have my own little beans and they're running around the shop and they're going to knock on doors yelling trick or treat it's just gonna be magical i can't wait um, but that is something that i'd also like to do this year is take my cousin trick or treat in the next one is i know this is bacon again but i found i think i could post a photo here i'd like to make mini pumpkin bread in the shape of pumpkins um so i'll insert a photo to show you what i mean um, I've made pumpkin bread before, but I saw these and I thought they were the cutest little things in the world. So I'll probably give them a little attempt also. I would also like to do a little... I'm not a massive marshmallow kind of gal, but I really like the idea of s'mores. Um, so I'd like... To be honest, these are all tying into having the little date night in with Taylor. I really like the thought of having like s'mores after our pizza night. It's such a little cute idea. I have a little s'mores. That's something I really want to do. I don't think I've ever made s'mores before. But it is definitely something that I would like to 
give a go this year. Another thing I would like to do this year is much of a surprise, but it's a nice autumn self-care day slash night. Um, I'm going to be getting my nails done um, and having a little pamper, face mask, bubble bath, etc. Um, it's nice something that I would like to do, make a day out of it maybe. Um, so it's just something, but then again, again, you can tie that in, you can have a date day, date 24 hours with your partner, so you can have a little self-care day, um, where they can get their hair cut, you can go get your nails done, or your hair done, and then you can do face masks, etc. It's cute, we wrote it, so that is something that I would really love to do this year as well. The other thing I'd like to do is on a really gloomy, rainy day, is maybe write a letter to your future self. I think there is um, either apps or websites you can use where it emails you so far in advance with the letter you've written. So I think that would be really nice to do if you're quite a sentimental human being like myself. Um, I just thought it was really nice. You could do something... You could be emotional, you can, I don't know, it's just going to be really lovely and you get to see um, in like 10 years time, you can open this letter and you can see how far you've come. Um, and it's a way to make you feel proud of yourself in the future, I think. So the last two things I have is to make your own pumpkin spice latte, which I think will be really lovely. It could be a fail, but it would be really nice. It would be something cute to do um, if you're broke, like me, always. Um, it would just be something nice to do on a rainy Sunday afternoon maybe. The last thing I have is to switch out your summer wardrobe for your autumn wardrobe, autumn slash winter wardrobe. I think it's very motivational to have these clothing swaps in between seasons so you can declutter your wardrobe, you can see new outfits, you can find outfits that you forgot you had, etc. And it's nice to feel good about yourself. You're able to sit there and go through these things. And I think it's just very motivational. And it'll boost boost your little mentality. I just really like the idea. So that is it for this video. It may be a little short one. Um, but it's just something to start off the autumn period. And something to enjoy a little more and just to relax and then hopefully after this you can build your own little fall bucket list you can steal some of my ideas um i might make a list for you and then you can have a look in the description um and then you can pick out what you like and if you wanted to follow anything that i picked out too um it's just something that we can all do together you know it's a really exciting time of year i really like this time like i said there's all the colors changing um it's just something nice to do together. Um, I have a look book coming out and I have, I wanted to do an autumnal um, mood board, which I've already done as you would have seen, but I would like to do maybe something a bit like this where we can go through Halloween costumes um, that you can have, I know September, but like you want to be prepared you don't want to get to like the week before halloween and then start crapping your pants because you haven't planned your halloween costume so i thought we could do that together um maybe next week and it's just something nice to do but i hope you enjoyed this video um and i will be seeing you next week for whatever is coming out um but if you can hit like and subscribe and share to all your pallies that would be brilliant um but i will see you soon with another video Oh, 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 oh,